a lot of folks in the listing asked me for a video so i'm just shooting a quick video of the 2006 ducati sport classic so this bike i've owned it for about five years um it came stock and i've done a lot of tasteful modifications to it so i'll just walk through it quickly um up front so these bikes came with the instrument nacelle a little bit angled like this so i got this custom carbon shroud made so that it could be flat and you can get that flat cafe racer board line uh, it's got Andriani fully adjustable forks up front, which are sprung for about 240 pounds. Olin's steering damper, which is an absolute must with the JC Pack bikes mount, which is a very clean mount for it. The tank has been completely coated inside with Caswell coating so that there is no expansion possible on this tank. It's there, it doesn't expand. You can see it in the ring here. It's very, very clean. Moving further ahead, it's got uh, Ayala Kasuno um, frame sliders as well as fork sliders and it's got the Ayala uh, clutch slave which makes the clutch pulls really easy and the clutch fluid doesn't darken as much right it's got oh I forgot to mention it's got Rizomas for the clutch the brake on custom uh, low mounts as well as for the rear brake moving further it's got Olin suspension in the back, uh, a paletta tail tidy in the back. It's got uh, stock tail lights. It's got the Tomignoni two in two out exhaust, which has been that doesn't have a lambda sensor. It's got the Ducati Performance ECU down there, and a, and an, a MOSFET regulator rectifier. Um, what else? Oh, this exhaust has been completely ceramic coated inside and out by a JPL engineer. What else? Uh, the Isla. Oh yeah, of course. Um, it's got the Ducati Performance clutch pressure plate as well as an open clutch cover. 2006, for the folks who don't know, is the only year which came with a dry clutch. The rest of the years, the Sport Classic was a wet clutch. Oh, and the biggest change of all, these bikes came with pretty shitty brakes. So I upgraded it to Discachiachi four piston, four pot bullet aluminium brakes as well as rotors, and braided front tubo um, brake lines that's pretty much it the bike comes with this handlebar setup right now which is on a custom top triple but i'll also include uh, the full clip-on setup with the top triple so that you can switch to a clip-on look or a handlebar look that's pretty much it let me just give you a sound bite of the bike quickly That's pretty much it. Hope you guys like the bike. Enjoy.